If you are under the age of 18 and you are watching this video, please stop now. This content was not intended for you. Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here to share with you guys my first design team project for Alina Crafts and I will have the original video of everything that she sent me in my design team package down below so you guys can check out what was actually sent originally. And today I'll be working with the pizza box gift box and this is what it looks like and it has a top and a bottom and it has two different um, alphabet letter designs. This is what it looks like. So um, I am working with that today. And today is going to be a quick tutorial or put together. I'm using Magical Forest Paper Collection by Crate Paper. And I think I have everything all laid out. Um, I'll also be using the uh, double-sided foam tape from Alina Crafts as well. So I've already cut out the letters that I'm going to use on my project and I've applied uh, adhesive back using my Zyron. I cut the die out twice um, because I'm using the digital paper collection that I printed out on my um, 12 by 12 printer. So I cut it out twice. The original paper is a basil um, paper, or no, it's a Hamel paper. So it's a little bit lighter than a basil. So I've cut it out twice to do a double-sided paper. And I've also uh, cut out my acetate. And I just have all of my things all around me um, so that I can get this project done. Let me zoom out just a bit. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put the box uh, together back to back. I'm going to use some wet glue for this. And ideally, I would have um, printed this paper double sided, but I've already printed, I'd already printed the paper before I was on the team. So I want to use up what I have. So the best way to do that is just to cut it out twice. And I was able to cut this die out um, twice within the one sheet of paper. So. I've added my wet glue and I'm just going to line this up right on top of each other. Slide this over just a smidge. Okay, perfect. And then I'm just going to let that have a chance to adhere to itself. Set that aside. I'm going to do the same thing for the, this is the top of the box. I absolutely love this paper and this particular piece it has lots of florals and it's like it's a little bit of a fall um, paper too but I'm working on a project um, working on a whole rack rather for my patreon so this will go to one of my tier two members this whole thing, this whole, um, this is just one piece of it. So I love a two in one, honey. And I'm just gonna lay this right on top. Where's that other piece? Come on, be good. Okay, that's that. I'm gonna put this top back on here. And then I'm gonna let that sit and think for a little bit while I make some flowers. So I've used these two punches, EK Success flower punches, and I've already punched them out. Two in gold, which is going to be my accent color throughout my projects, and one in the leftover pattern paper. And I'm just going to use my tools. I have another set, a set that I just bought, um, a blue set, but that is off-site at the moment. It's with the other project that I'm working on, so... I'm going to go back to my old ones, which work fine. I just didn't have all of the sizes, so that's why I bought a new set. And then I'm going to take my foam tape, and this is good because it is um, very, fairly thin. Not thin, um, narrow. I guess that's the same word. And I can put it right inside the middle of the flower. All right, I got my hot glue gun on standby, which I'll just add a little dot, and I'm going to add the flower directly on top of that glue dot. 
no uh, offset or centering, just exactly on top. And I'm just going to use my little tool here to make sure that that glue stays on top. Okay. I'm going to grab some um, a flat back pearl in gold. And I'm going to add a little glue. I have to use my scissors to pick these up because I have fumbolina fingers. Add this to the flower. All right, get rid of my little glue string there. And there we have the little flower here. Super cute. So I am using three of those. Okay, so this is done. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is roll. I'm going to roll a flower next. This is a rolled flower file that I have in my stash. And again, I'm just going to use my little, whoops, just going to use my little tool here to get this nice and rolled. Let it loose a smidge. And then we'll just add some glue to the back. Ooh, too much, too much glue. Let's get some of this off. All right, we're just going to hold that there. Quick second. And there we have our rolled rolls. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is um, adhere my adhesive letters from the die onto my paper. So if you wise, if you wise, if you guys are watching me, I have been using acetate shakers as my cards for my projects and I've been putting Hey Girl Hey, which I love. And let's see, I'm just trying to figure out where to put this at. I might not use all three of these flowers, but I want to make sure of that. Actually, I might start with the G. That's a little bit bigger. And I'm just using my mat to um, guide me so that everything kind of lines up. All right, I got that on there. Now I'm just gonna take my sewing machine and run through these letters because it is stickers and I just wanna make sure they stay sturdy. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. All right, so I've gone ahead and stitched across the Hey Girl Hey and uh, make sure that's on there. And then I have, I have some thread on here that is bugging me. And then I've gone ahead and stitched down three sides. So I have my little sequin mix that I made. Uh, earlier and this is going to be well hopefully I'll be able to um, stretch it but I may need to make some more for the whole project I'm just going to put a couple of spoonfuls in here and then I want to put this on top just to see how it looks I want it to be able to still shake and stuff that's cute I'm going to put a dab just a smidge more in here Cute. I think I have a tutorial on these spoons. I can't remember. So that's that. Now I'm just going to stitch this across. All right, that's all done. It looks so cute. I love that. And that's going to attach to the top of the box. Now what I also want to do is, now this is a cute paper. It, the die is, you know, cute, is stitched. But I want to add a little bit of stitching around, like, the perimeter of, um, the box and I'll be back. All right, I've gone ahead and stitched up the boxes, uh, the box and the bottom and the top. And this is the top. So I made a flunder, that's a word, and I cut out the wrong paper for the top, but I'm still gonna keep this as my top. I'm gonna make it work. So what I've done was, yeah, go ahead and stitched all of the perimeters. So I'm just going to slice these down at an angle just a bit so that it fits uh, a little more smoothly like I like it and then these are already perforated so just being careful to 
fold everything right. I don't know how this is going to work because <laughs> this is the top. Why didn't you guys tell me? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it together by adding glue to the tabs. Hot glue. I'm holding that. Okay. And then this end folds down over those tabs. Just like that. And then I'm going to glue these tabs in the same way. All right, that's the bottom of the box. And this is the top. And then that's just going to fit over and open like so. So I'm going to glue the tabs down. All right, so I couldn't fix it. Uh, <laughs> the die has to go how the die has to go. So, but I have a little solution for my little flunder. So I'm going to put this together by gluing this tab onto the tab for the bottom of the box just like so make sure that's on I like to close the box first make sure I get all of this fits right then we can put this on top all right glad I stitched that it looks super cute and then that just comes open like that so my fix is Da, 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 da. Oh, wait for it. I took the uh, sequin um, shaker and added the paper that I wanted on the top to it by stitching it. So it's a two in one. So that flunder was awesome because now I don't have to put adhesive tape and worry about the tape showing through there. I could just hot glue this to the top. Ha ha. Well done. Well done. So I got my glue on the, on the, um, back and then I'm just going to line this up and this is three and three quarter square. Hey girl, hey! So cute! Look at that. That is so, so stinking cute. I love that background and then boom, pop it up. So in the next video I'm going to share with you guys uh, some things that you can put inside this pizza box. But for now, let's get this decorated and we're at the home stretch here and then I have some leaves that I cut out so I want this over here to the side I think that's cute and then I'm going to pop these leaves up pinch them up a little bit so they can stand out a little bit better and then get those tucked in I don't know how many I'm going to use but cut out quite a few this is from my stash. All right, so that's going to go there. Just going to add a little glue to that. Put that on there. Same for this one. Super cute. And then we're just going to tuck in the leaves right here. I'm going to have one. All right, that's all done. Look how cute that is. I love that little arrangement down there. This pizza box is adorable. Again, this is what it looks like on the inside. So stay tuned to see how I feel this cute little pizza box. Remember to like the video if you like it. Let me know what you think and check the links in the description box. All right, guys, I will talk to you soon and I will see you next time. Bye.